Alright, Mama Bear is back and we are here to start going through all this stuff. Ooh. Yes, we do need to go through all this. There we go. Ooh, got some new information on Lottie and Giselle. I gotta just search this whole thing before I go and talk to Mr. Hampton. Hmm. There we go. It's locked. Okay. It's locked, all right. That one's locked too. It'll gradually get a little bit easier to find things. Ah, there we go. Burnt letter. Okay. We're just still going through a little bit of stuff. Can't get up there, so that's okay. Okay. Here we go. Folded paper. There's all of it. You don't have to scroll for that one. Oh. Avoid a long face, Doctor. It looks like we both have changed a lot. I must confess, it saddens me, Sean. Put your faith in the Lord, Doctor. He has a plan for all of us. We may not always see it, but he does. Since you left Pembroke, the amount of blood that has been shed, it's hard to believe you, Sean. Ask what you will. As the Lord is my shepherd, I will not speak a lie to you. Aren't you afraid of what you've become? We are blessed, Doctor. Can't you see it? The Lord has made us able to walk amongst the plague and aid those that need it. Do you think this is a blessing when God's own house and holy symbols repel you? If that is your burden, Doctor, so be it. But I do not fear the cross, nor am I forced to take the life of another. My kind doesn't share your imperfections. But you must drink blood now to survive. No, not your scripture. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. So saith the Lord. I only need to eat flesh. No blood. Why return here? This is my home. These people are my flock. You will always find me where I am needed. Ooh. 
And what about William Bishop? He tried to take care of you. But this hunger, this thirst, cannot be restrained. Alas, poor William. He had a good soul, but was weak in spirit. He could not shake the thirst for booze, never mind blood. But have faith. My will is far stronger than his. Wonders never cease. Scowl, managing an asylum. And what of you? A vampire doctor? Meals laid out before you? Yet you restrain? Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke Hospital? Killed old Harriet? You must be mad, doctor. Why would I do such a thing? So you claim Miss Jones' death was not by your hand, nor the other incidents at Pembroke? Though Harriet was an angry, spiteful woman, she was one of God's creatures. I have nothing but love for all he has made. But you were close to her. Of course. But she was lost. Separated from the fold. She did not see the hand of the divine in my blessed condition. People have been murdered. I've seen the blood. I don't believe you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. If you will follow, I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take this key of the old sewers. The entrance is by the river bank, south from here. There you'll find all the proof you need. See, I told you, Sean, don't get us in there. Very well. You have definitely intrigued me. I hope you're right, Sean. I'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a threat then, well, I surrender myself to your judgment. Okay, but I wasn't trying to talk to you right now. I was actually trying to just open this stuff up. And continue to collect. Continue to collect. I think I'm just about done collecting, actually. Okay. Here we go. Now I'm gonna find the girls. There's Lottie. Glad to see you again, Mr. Reed. Nope. Still need a hint for that one. Lottie, tell me about the wet boot boys. I know they've threatened you. Edwina Cox wanted me to provide her with information about Mr. Hampton's resources. I refused. Is that not dangerous? Fuck them and their lies. They claim they protect the interests of the neighborhood, but they are just greedy parasites like all the rest. I respect your courage, Miss Paxton. She's got cojones. Dr. Reed, <laughs> you know how to make a girl blush. I am glad you came to the docks. Whatever your real reasons are. Lottie, tell me about the death of your mother. Giselle killed her, plain and simple. She killed her with her daily whims, her laziness, and her complaints. That's quite a statement. You can't kill someone because you're fickle. Mother was very ill, but I forgave Giselle. What I couldn't stand was how she cried at her funeral like she was the one left alone. Perhaps your sister is not as tough as you are. I know that, and I don't blame her. It just makes me sad that my own sister is the person I understand the least. Giselle is she the only family that. you have left. Don't you think it's time you forgave her? Sometimes words are harder to forgive than acts, Dr. Reed. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. There we go. Now, where is your other sister? Miss Giselle. It's locked, all right. I wasn't sure. I was just trying it out. There's Lottie. You again. What do you want? 
Giselle, I know you sleep at Sean Hampton's shelter. What can you tell me about him? He provided a roof for me and my sister. I am grateful, of course. But he gives me the creeps. Why is that? He's always sad. Like he's about to cry. He's always asking us to get closer to God. And to give ourselves to the Lord. Mm, creepy. Okay, then. Giselle, tell me about the death of your mother. After our father died, mother worked so hard she made herself sick. We spent all the money we had on useless drugs and doctors. It was hell. Hell? What do you mean? The three of us were exhausted and desperate. And when I'm desperate, I tend to get angry. And I'm hard to live with. Lottie said I killed mother. You should talk to your sister. Whatever happened when your mother died, the truth lies somewhere between your two versions. I don't want to talk about that. It was years ago. We Paxton sisters are tough. We don't apologize. Well, okay. I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Good evening, Mr. Throbble. He's here. Dr. I can go Reed. and finish up this one. Can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? I put up your public service announcement. <laughs> Consider the common folk warned about the vampiric presence. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You may not realize it, but you saved a great many lives today. Do you really think they could be useful? See the sad saint of the East End? How a single man can help so many people? I consider myself the discreet protector of these men and women. Tell me, Ichabod, why do you consider yourself the protector of Sean Hampton's shelter? He is a truly inspiring example. Dedicated, pious. His shelter is open to all, whoever they are. Most admirable. Okay, that's Goodbye. the only one that I've and been able to unlock so far. There we go. That way you guys can read that one. Oh, I got a new hint on him already. I remember right. This could be the public house Giselle Paxton <laughs> mentioned. I should investigate further. Really, you're all going to do that for me in the skull right now? Come on now. Stolen money. There Proven we go. Have some unethical ways of financing their war. Okay. So now. Let's 
funny. I don't have. To, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Get all this loot. Are those the only ones? I guess they are. So, here we go. If you haven't already, be sure you let me and RZB know what you think of the playthrough competition we're hosting with the AC Odyssey. We're both playing it, we're doing our own styles, our own choices, so the gameplays are completely different. Um, just playing it how we both would like to play it. and. I have to say it's turning out very interesting. I upload them with him every week. And so yeah, definitely let us know what you think. And he started AC Valhalla. He's done a little bit on the um, live side of that too. I think the first one he did was live. But he tries to go that live every work. week. It just depends on what his work schedule will allow. So that's it. These wheels control the water level. And before we go too far into everything. I was double checking because I could have sworn there was something over here, but I guess not. Yeah, see, there's Rodney over there. There. My bad, I should have done that while I was already in here. I just didn't think about it. Honestly, I forgot. Alrighty. I'm not looking forward to doing the thing with the fugal thing. Okay. I'm gonna go over here and just double check because I could have sworn I could get down there too. Yes, I can. So, there we go. I don't like wasting opportunity. Nice. Anymore. I was hoping I could find a mouse.
Well, oh, duh. I was just like, why in the world is it not? You have to be on it at just the right angle. I just earned a trophy called Pest Control. <laughs> kind of funny. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh wait. Might help if I do that first and then do this. I have this thirst for blood. I can't there. believe I'm doing this. I had a moment. And if you notice all the skulls, that's your sign you're close to the big boss battle. So, oh, this is about to get serious. Okay. Oh, that's locked for now. It won't be when we come back up because we've got to go over here. Literally running away. I'm about to have to go up against him. These maggots have escaped the wrath of Ascalon for too long. It is time to purge the sewers of their filth. You again. The one they call the sewer dog. Hold your tongue, newborn, or I'll crush you like a maggot. You've let the beast consume you. Finally, a touch of lucidity. There goes nothing. Oh crap. No. Your neck shall snap like a hair's brittle bones, newborn. There we go. Up my health a little bit, up my blood. Slow as a snail. Shall snap like a hair's brittle bones, newborn. 
not like blood to the pissing well. I shall crush you. Where'd you go? Oh, Return Lord. to your apothecary and needles. There we go. Goodness. Down, stay down. Go ahead, drop where you can drop. Your blood is now mine. Uh, has yet to be determined. Okay. So I'm 14 and he's an 18 ball. Oh, I ran right into him. Why did I do that? No, I didn't know where he was. No, <laughs> uh. no, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm getting my health up a little bit right now. Because that's what I'm concerned about. I'm glad I made that stronger. There. <laughs> yes. Crazy, but it worked. I just got to feed the beast. Yes. Love that. I could have sworn there was something that you could find inside. It's locked. Water to pick up. But I could be wrong. Maybe I was wrong. Okay, here we go. At least one skull escaped Fergal's wrath. Now we're literally following the way that they took, which is over there. But I want to double check because I know there's stuff over here to be able to loot. Ba -bum 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 -bum. There we go, oh, there was a box down there. I'm sorry, I know I didn't have it in the view. Okay. I'm gonna keep looking, exploring. How could he have made it this far? There's blood everywhere. Okay. So. There's that. But if you notice, that is just a longer way to get over to here. So see. That's where I would have shadow jumped to. That's why I wanted to take that other route. We already were up here. Um, come on. I can't remember.
Oh yeah, right here. <laughs> Isn't the blood of a vampire, but it will quench your thirst. Alrighty, so here this we go. Ardo may not yours. You've been warned. Wait, I saved you from this creature. That must count for something. Thank you. Now go. Go back to the streets and houses. There is no love lost between us, vampire. But thank you. Sean Hampton sent me here. I believe he wanted me to find you. Who are you? If you must know, they call me Old Bridget, and this shelter is where we live. I'm Jonathan Reed. I'm a newborn Egon. I'm afraid I'm not sure what's going on. I shall not bend a knee, young Egon, but I sense your pain. Ask, and I will afford you my attention. Why was that creature after you? Fergal is the blunt instrument of the Ascalon Club. His masters would see us dead or turned into slaves if they had their way. What the hell was that thing? He wasn't an Ekon or a Skull. They are known as Volkhod, an ancient offshoot of immortals. Blood drives them, enrages them. Yep. What of this Ascalon Club? Vampire society's elite in the Empire. They make the rules and enforce their judgment upon us whom they see as lessers. So is it you that Sean Hampton sent me to find? Perhaps. The sad saint was always kind to us. He must trust you if he revealed our location. Sean is a skull. All those I've encountered have been violent, crazed creatures. How can he be any different? Maybe because he is the sad saint. Or perhaps because I am old Bridget of the sewer skulls. Sean killed a patient of mine. And that's just one of the murders he's being hunted for. If you refer to Harriet, she is now among us and under our protection. Harriet Jones is alive. That's it. That's the proof Sean wanted me to find. I must talk to her. No. Harriet is not alive. But you can speak to her. I must warn you. She is fragile and may not receive you warmly. I don't understand. She is filled with bile and hate. Her mind is sharp as a tack. But her body is so weak. I've never seen its like before. She is resting in a room on the far right of this hideout. Thank you. I will bear that in mind. Alright guys, so Harriet is alive but not alive all at the same time. I think I'm going to end it here and we will get back to it later. Thanks for joining me in our ZB world and I hope you're enjoying yourself being a part of this and mama bear will be back with you soon enough with another episode of vampire thanks again guys